Hello my Libras, welcome again to Magic Mita's tarot card reading and I pulled a universal love oracle card for you and um, you got the card Embrace. So I'm just going to read to you what it says. A new and exciting opportunity is about to come your way. Embrace it. You are also being asked to embrace the different aspects of your personality. Make a list of everything about you. The many facets and qualities that make you the, the unique person you are. Make no distinction between what you Consider desirable and, or undesirable. Simply list everything that would describe you. Then embrace all these with love. Embrace all of who you are. The universe and all of creation will then be able to fully embrace you. Okay, so I went ahead and I laid your cards out ahead of time just to save time. Um, I didn't want the videos to be too long, so Libra, you have the Six of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords And you have the Strength card. So, who's coming towards you? And I see this two different ways. You're not moving away from a Leo. And you're bringing them some clarity. You're making them an offer of clarity. I don't see any emotion in it. But I do see an offer. Another way I see this is there's a Leo that you're lusting for or maybe they're lusting for you or you're lusting for each other and you've decided not to move away from them. And you're both bringing more clarity to each other. And I'm also feeling this could be a karmic relationship. Now, the outcome is the Seven of Swords in reverse. the tower in reverse, the king of pentacles, and you have the queen of cups clarifying the king of pentacles. So whatever dishonesty, if there was some type of lying, cheating, stealing going on, that won't be happening anymore in the future because somebody's avoiding a disaster with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Another way I see these top cards here, there could be an Aquarius with the Six of Swords who's decided not to move away but they're bringing clarity to you, possibly about a Leo. Or this Aquarius hasn't moved away. They decided not to move away from you. And they're bringing clarity about you to a Leo. Now, down here at the bottom, like I said, 
I see that there was some type of deceit, some type of deceiving going on in the past. Some type of deception. And it was involving a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But you're avoiding a disaster with this tower in reverse. With them. Mm hmm. And this Queen of Cups is clarifying the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So their intentions were pure. feel they had uh, good intentions and that they were offering you um let's put it this way I feel they were very intuitive about what was going on whether you realized it or not I feel their intuition is very strong and they were very focused on the relationship okay so now, I'm going to clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords here in Libra? Um, April to May, 2018, love. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Libra? One card, please. Please clarify the Seven of Swords. Okay, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Clarifying the Seven of Swords in reverse. And I see that as somebody not taking action. This could be your energy here, this Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel <clears throat> not taking action towards an earth sign, even though you do have the Magician. So it makes me feel like you had what is necessary to manifest what you wanted with them, with whoever, but for whatever reason you chose not to. And your overall energy for this reading is the hangman. So I feel like you're waiting now, I feel like you're, yeah, I feel like you're waiting on a response from a Leo or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, possibly even a Scorpio. Yeah. <clears throat> so let me see here. So you have six up here. So I feel you're having a problem with whoever is coming towards you with communication, problem solving, cooperation. I don't feel there's any balance. Like I said, I feel this is a very lustful relationship um, and it's a karmic relationship. But <clears throat> If you know you difficult relationships come in our life so that we can learn and grow so I mean it doesn't always have to be a negative you know outlook on it um, and we have here five so the outcome is 
going to be an opportunity for change. Um, you will have, you know, it's going to come with challenge. And you may have material prosperity, especially with this king. This king of pentacles represents pentacles. This is earth, but he also represents pentacles. So you may even have some material prosperity, but spiritually, you might not be thriving. Yeah. Is that it? And you may possibly be waiting on a water sign. I'm, I'm sensing it may be like a Scorpio. So... You may have a delay hearing from this water sign. But I... I'm sensing that you're you're wanting growth with them, whether it be in love or friendship, um, in communication. Yeah. So I think that's what you're waiting for. Okay. That's, that's the all I have for tonight. Thank you again, Libras, for watching. And I will see you next month. Thank you. Oh, I'm listening to 639 Frequency. Attract love, raise positive energy. Marimba meditation music on YouTube. Thank you again.